give you a treat because you're being good. Here you go. Down. Good work, Amanda. Good work. <coughs> oh my goodness, that's very loud. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. My name is Big Cat Devin in case you're new here. And today it's a Thursday, I'm out doing meds right now. So I'm gonna throw you back to the beginning and then we'll get started. I need you to move from Andre, okay? I gotta deal with him right now. Come on, let's go, come on. Come on, you can do it, I believe. Andre, you stay there. Just gonna separate your sister real quick. She's gonna come right through that gate right in front of me, right there where she is. Hello, you're very growly today. You are. And I just shut that so Andre can't get through. And same goes for Amanda. Fine, I'll give you a treat because you're being good. Here you go, down. Good work, Amanda. Go for it. <coughs> oh my goodness, that's very loud. Ooh, I was honestly not expecting that one. <laughs> I mean, I guess I kind of was, but that was a lot louder than I was expecting, I guess is what I mean. Because that, that was a loud and blunt roar, that is for sure. All right, Mr. Andre, how you doing today? You want some treats? Here's the meatball. Can you put your head straight, maybe? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Go work, dude. Killing it. All right, chicken thigh. Your sister really liked this. Are you a fan? Not as big of a fan, I feel. But still a fan, nonetheless. All right, how about some more mush? That's a leaf. That's a leaf. Here. Trey, look here. There you go. Here you go, Dre. Nice job, bud. Go on a chicken neck. Nice job. Chicken thigh. If I put it on the ground, do you want it? Yeah. <laughs> I can put a couple more pieces on there if you'd like. If that's what you're gonna prefer. No? How you can hold it? Oh, there you go. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> He's not sure what he wants. He's like, well, I do want it off the ground sometimes. But then I'd like you to feed me. You know what, actually, I take that back. I do know what he wants. He wants the mush or the chicken necks. That's what he wants. But I need you to eat some chicken thighs as well, bud. It's part of your diet, you know? You know? So again, some mush, and then a chicken neck, and then a chicken thigh. Let's do it that way. We got some more mush. Are you gonna eat that chicken thigh? Sniff, sniff. There you go. Maybe. Nope. Here you go. Mush. Chicken neck. And then another chicken thigh. Killing it, Dre. Killing it. Mush. Chicken neck. And a big chicken thigh. What are you looking at? Look here. Nice work, bud. Let's see if I pick this up. Here you go. Look here. No, not a fan. Don't go away. You gotta stay here with me. You're doing great. Hey, Dre. I still have mush. Try. <laughs> hey, look here. You see? It's good. Come on back. You see? <laughs> He's like, you better not show me another chicken thigh or I'm out of here. All right, bud, here. Have a nice neck. Use the paw. There you go. This is a big neck. Alright, let's try to sneak in a chicken thigh now. 
Yeah, success. I'm sorry. Look, here's a neck to make up for it. I'm all out of mush. Oh, it is down on the ground if you want it. I'll pick it up, don't worry. There you go. I think he's gonna eat off the ground though. This has like a little bit of mush, but it's also a chicken thigh. Just kidding, it's not gonna work. Here's chicken thigh. No. Okay, here's chicken neck. Hey, Judy. Don't run away, bud. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get you to eat the thighs. Alright, this is, I think, I think this is one of my last chicken necks, if not the last one. Yeah, now I just got chicken thighs. But he did great. He did very good. Alright, Dre. I'll see you later. <laughs> if any of you do have an Instagram and are interested in checking me out, just go to Big Cat Devin on Instagram or you can click the link down below and then follow me. I need you to eat this before I can give you the rest of your food, alright? It's very good, Ted. Make sure you eat that. You might think something's up. We shall see. Hi, Mrs. Yeah. Mrs. Mrs. Claus. Hey, look right here. That's Simba you're hearing behind me. Hi, bud. I'm coming with food for you soon. Just give me one second. I gotta go get it, okay? Okay. Oh, you just sneezed on me. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. You go get it. Where did you go? I don't know. But she knows he's there. And I don't want to spook her, but that is Mrs. Claus in there, and she is finally eating, which is amazing. And then, of course, we got Simba over here, still yelling. He's like, give me more, give me more. <laughs> All right, I'll see you later, bud. Bye. And now I've got Tut just sitting right in front of the food bowl, hoping that he's eating it, and... He's left a couple pieces, so I have to look in those and see if he's actually eating the meds piece. And luckily for me, he actually did eat his meds. So now you can get the rest of your food, Tut. Alright, enjoy. But now I'm over here at perfection. Hey, Perf! Come in! Come out! Just like that. Here you go, Miss Perf. She doesn't have meds today, so she's just getting treats. All right, Perf, you would all that, okay? See ya. Perf, do not jump off of there, honey. You gotta walk down. But I think this is a normal occurrence. Whenever I come over for meds and she eats, she then goes all the way back up her platform up there. Hi, Perf, how you doing? you doing good you little growly one you little growly ocelot <laughs> i don't have any more food i'm sorry i was just checking to make sure you ate everything and you did you did great all right i'll see you later perf okay nabisco's like i want some treats give me treats i'm sorry bud i'm going to simba right now i'm sorry <laughs> all right see you bud so i'm over here at simba Hi, bud. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? And I've never actually done meds with him. Hey, bud. I don't like that. Can you not do that? So we're going to see how he does. I'm hoping he cooperates. Is that a yeah, you're going to cooperate? Is that what that means? Here you go, bud. Oh. <laughs> you totally just knocked it out of my hand. All right, give me a sec, bud. All right, so let's try that again, Mr. Simba. Look over here. I'm gonna put that on your tray. Oh, and the pill came out. Are you gonna eat it? Are you gonna eat the pill anyway? No. All right, I gotta restuff that. Just putting in the tray, and we'll see how that goes. Here you go, bud. Don't bite that. <laughs> you get that. Yum, yum, yum. One. All right, you killed it, bud. You killed it. Just let me have that back. Thank you. And now, since you were so good with that, 
you can have the rest of your food. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. A couple pieces fell on the ground. Here, you can have this. <laughs> he gets so excited for his shrimp and fish. Here, but let me just kind of toss these back in for you. And there's a piece of shrimp right there. You'll find it, I'm sure. He is so ferocious when it comes to his food. Wow. He hit it. <laughs> Alright, good work, bud. Thank you. We got Nabisco. And then now who's running away? We got Mrs. Claus over here. Do you guys remember being together? Do you guys remember? I think they do. But Mrs. is probably like, I like my own house. Alright. Have a good night, you two. I'll see you later. Alright, Serby. Then we got Zuccari over here. I'm gonna give him the extra check. Here you go, Zuccari. There you go. Enjoy that, alright? Just take it away. You're good. Or just eat it there. That's fine. Well, we got Servi over here waiting patiently. Hi, Serv. How you doing? Um, this fish always bounces around. Gives you trouble. So let's hope it doesn't bounce too bad. And she eats those two pieces with no problems. There is another one by your foot, Serv. I do need you to eat that. So I'm just going to drop this one over here to kind of get you to look over there. That did not work. <laughs> right there, Serv. Look right there. By your foot. You're stepping on it, honey. You're stepping on it. All right, Serv, I'll get the stick. So I did just get the stick to kind of point her in the direction of where the food is. Serve right there, look. Serve. Honey, look. It's right by your foot. Look down. There you go. Please eat that. Thank you. Did you spit it out? No, no that's a shell. Here you go. Right here, one more. One more, serve right there. Hey, serve. Look right there, honey. There you go. I'm going to give her the last three pieces right there, two of which almost came out of the cage. The fish is so bouncy, man. So bouncy. It's the bounciest food we feed them. That's for sure. Alright. There you go, serve. Enjoy. But she did good. She ate all that. So now I'm going to give her the rest of her food. She's got a fish fillet, which I'm sure she'll take out of lockout and enjoy that. <laughs> She loves the fish. And then some mush, some pieces of red, and then two chicken necks. All right, Serby, enjoy that, okay? And Zuccari's like, hey, give me some more. I'm sorry, bud, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, this is kind of weird. I'm looking for Diablo right now, and I'm not seeing him. Normally, he's just waiting right by the side for me. I wonder where he is. All right, here he comes. I'm not sure where he was, but he just came down the platform right there. All right, Diablo. Nice hiss. Are you ready? Oh, I'm sorry. That was a terrible throw. I do apologize. Where were you hiding? Where were you? But yeah, his med's inside that chick. And he's just going to eat that up. And hopefully, won't have any idea it's even in there. That's always the goal, at least. <laughs> but he's usually really good. I haven't had any problems with him. So I'm at Dez right now, and let me know if you can see him in the comments down there. He's laying down right behind the little palmettos right there. I'm sure you can see him. Hey Dez, I got treats. You want to come here? And he is kind of far away at the moment, so I'm hoping that this stick is going to reach him. Or maybe that by me putting it in will at least motivate him to come over. And the sun is totally aiming right at us. Hey, Des. Oh, man, I can't go any further, Des. Can you come here? Get it. He's not having it. Come on, Des. Come on, Des. You got it? I think you just knocked it off. But you got it now. All right. Good work. Good work. If you want to come closer, you know, I would appreciate it. Alright Jess, here's the important one though. I do need you to eat this. So no games. Here you go. Alright.
Alright, nicely done, Des. Nicely done. You got one more treat piece. And then I'll be out of here. Nice work, Des. Alright, have a good night. Hello, Keisha. And hi, Kelly. How you doing? How are you two doing today? Now, since we are dealing with Keisha right now, I bring in everything. I got the long stick, the short stick, and some tongs. Doing anything to get Miss Keish to eat. Isn't that right? And I wish we had some red, but we did not. So I've just got chicken breast and chicken necks today. So I'm hoping she's gonna be a fan of that. She's not really grabbing it. There we go. Good work, Miss Keish. can hear that, that is a plane going above my head, in case you were curious. It's good, Keish. I promise it's good. All right. This is a big one right here. I'm hoping she'll like it. It'll be great if she eats this. And she has already eaten today, but they just wanted to see if I could get her any more to eat, since Keisha usually does pretty good when I feed her. So they were just having me try her one last time before the end of the day to see if we could get her to eat some more. And she seems to be eating, so that is good. Oh, well, Miss Keish, it's very good. Look, I'll take it back and I'll put it back in. And now it's good. Look at that. Magic. Magic. Oh, can't get it in there. There you go. Oh no, don't stand up. Let's try that again. I'll take it back. Give it a little rub. And now it's back. <laughs> two, two for two. Two for two. Magic. And I'm just going to keep up with this chicken breast, as long as she's going with it. There you go, Keish, nice work. Well, I guess it wasn't as big of a deal that I thought, not having red. Because she is definitely eating this chicken breast, that is for sure. And I brought her, I want to say it was almost 8 pounds, I think 7 pounds, 9 ounces, something like that. And she's easily already eaten most of it, so she's doing great for today. Know that? In and out. There you go. Miss Keish. This is very good. No? Not a fan? Okay, let me just take it back. And then put it back in. Ooh, the trick didn't work. Oh, man. Alright, Keish. Well, you just did really good. I do appreciate it. If you stay here, I can try to feed you some more. But if you go walk away, I think that's going to be it. Let's see if she wants a chicken neck from a tongue. Hey, Keish, look at this. No? All right. Well, let's see if I get the longer stick and just try her one more time. Uh, where do I want to sit? I guess we'll try this side for right now. I do have Kali behind me. Hi, Kali. Please don't mess with the stick, Miss Kelly. Please don't mess with the stick. Here you go, Keish. Here you go. No? Alright. Well, you did good, Keish. Kelly, you can't have the stick. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't have that much space. Ah. There you go. <laughs> and of course I'll be nice to Miss Kelly. Here's a treat for being good. There you go, honey. Nicely done. So Priya right now, sorry if this is a little bit bumpy, I'm on the golf cart. She is out on vacation right now. Miss Priya! Are you coming? Are you coming, Priya? I think she might be all tired out. Oh no. Here you come, Miss Priya. Here you come, Priya. Hey Seth, where are you bud? 
So I'm walking around Seth's cage right now. He's definitely got the biggest, jungliest cage we do have, so. He's in there somewhere. Oh, do you guys see him? Let me know if you guys see him. He's snoozing right there in the middle. Hey, Seth, come here. But I'm gonna see if I can get him up and get him to come over here. He was just looking at me. Oh, there we go, he's getting up, maybe. For like the past five minutes, he kept just rolling over, putting his paw over his face. He's like, no, I'm not ready to get up yet. Seth, this isn't bath time. I really hope you can see him. What are you doing over there, Seth? Come on, get up. I've got treats, look. Come on. There we go. Come on, Seth Tiger. I know that's you in there, okay? Come on. Hi, Seth, how you doing? Hello, you chuffing. <laughs> you chuffing it up. It's a nice piece of pork, Seth. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Seth. You got it? <laughs> go work, Sethers. Thank you for getting up. I do appreciate that, bud. But guess what? Now I have to go to Hoover and I'll try and get him up. I don't think that's going to happen. But if you want, you can go splash around in the water over there and you're like, and that might help me out if you, you know, do decide to do that. But all right, Seth, I'll leave you to it. Have a good night. <laughs> and I'll see you later, bud. So you can see Hoover over there. He is taking a nap in his den right now. And he is very far away as you can see. So I think he's gonna be my only holdout for today. You sure you don't wanna come over, Hoover? He's looking at so me. So that is going to wrap up today's meds video. I hope you all did enjoy. I'm currently hanging out with Seth. You can see him right there. He's just kind of sitting in the dirt. Uh, but everyone did really well today. Uh, I still haven't done Hoover though. So I guess we're just gonna have to wait and find out if Hoover does decide to take his meds or not. Um, but you'll already know that before I do now, which is kind of weird. Um, but yeah, if you guys do enjoy these meds videos, definitely hit that like button. Show me that you like them. Um, and so I'll do more of them. And then if you're new here and you do want to join the family and see more of Mr. Seth like that, definitely subscribe, join the family. And remember to turn on those post notifications by clicking that bell next to the subscribe button. And then I'll see you all in the next video. Here at Big Cat Rescue, we are really into trying to change the laws in regards to big cats. And right now we are trying to pass the Big Cat Public Safety Act, and that will effectively ban the private ownership of big cats, cougars, and larger, so that people cannot privately own them as pets. For example, having Seth right here, a tiger as a pet. So for most of the states here in the U.S., they do allow you to own big cats as pets, and I'm going to talk to you about the two cages behind us and kind of explain what they're about. So since the USDA doesn't have any rules on cage size when it comes to big cats, they just kind of have this little blanket statement that's essentially up for interpretation. Um, but as long as the animal is able to make normal postural and social adjustments with adequate freedom of movement, and then it's basically just big fancy words for stand up, turn around, and sit back down, that is a large enough cage for them. And every cat you have seen in one of my videos can actually do those movements in a cage this size, so that would be perfectly fine for them to live in their whole lives. And if you didn't know, right now here in the United States, there's more tigers in Florida and Texas than there is left in the wild and that's really insane if you think about that but some states like florida have their own rules so you can see this kind of bigger area behind me uh, this is what florida's regulation is they say that this area is big enough for two fully grown tigers to live their entire lives um, which is still super small if you think about it um, i'll kind of try to let you see it but definitely not that big in here and that is what florida says is okay for you to keep two tigers in so if you are interested in helping us pass the big cat public safety act there's just a few quick simple steps that you need to do and then you can make the call of the wild and to make the call of the wild, it is actually really easy to do. All you have to do is text CATS to 52886. And then you can pause it right here. And once you text that number, it is free as long as you have, you know, texting on your mobile plan. It's not going to charge you anything. Uh, this is a free thing to text. And then after you do text that number, you are going to get a little text message um, with a link. You're going to end up clicking that link and it's going to connect you to your local senators and legislators. And then you can super easily just say the script. You say, well, hello, my name is this and my zip code is this. Please ask your boss to co-sponsor the Big Cat Public Safety Act, HR 1818, and the S2990. Thank you. Super easy to do. Like I said at the bottom, don't hang up. Um, you're automatically, after you finish one call, going to be connected to another that you can do. And if you do decide to make the call of the wild, definitely leave a comment down below. Um, just comment that you made the call of the wild, just so we can all see who did it. And if you all do decide to make the call of the wild and then you ever do happen to come to Big Cat Rescue, uh, you can head into our gift shop um, and just let someone know that you made the call of the wild because you saw it on a Big Cat Devon video. And they'll give you one of these cool little pins here with Keisha's face on it as a little thank you from us for helping support the bill.